What's up, YouTube? This is um, my iPhone for the unlocked, jailbroken iPhone 3G. As you can see, and uh, you can see, um, it shows the SMS and calendars and whatnot. But I think I made sure the iPhone looked pretty snazzy. When I unlock it, this is what I see. As you can see, the buttons are a lot different. This is the theme off the city. I'm pretty sure it's called Illuminate or Illuminate or something like that. But it has like over 3,000 buttons for like different, for like almost every application out there. Because I mean, there is a lot of apps out there. I pretty much did this video because I wanted to show the apps that I personally like for the iPhone. As you can see, I have the perfect browser. I use this more than I use Safari. Uh, it's pretty quick, it's not too bad. Um, I'll probably take a little longer, the lag on there. But yeah, you can have you can have multiple tabs, add another tab, exit, you could you don't have to have a, you can close this, you could toggle that, you can it doesn't have you can lock it like so it doesn't turn, doesn't tilt, which is very convenient because Safari, it's like super sensitive. As you can see right there, that lock. Enable, enable, like, enable disable, but like in like, unlike Safari, if you like move it to like, you know, landscape mode. So I like Perfect Browser. Um, I also have Byte SMS, which is um, the alternate SMS app that I use, I don't use the native one. This is uh, very convenient because if I tap the volume up volume on my iPhone and just tap this to compose, I can just instantly compose a text message. That's super convenient. And I like that. And there's also a pop-up screen that I could I could get. And there's a bunch of different options for that. Um, I have Make It Mine, which you can see up there on the top right right over here, make it mine, and uh, that obviously made my name, I changed the carrier from T-Mobile to Tashi, which is my name, well my nickname, Winterboard, we all know what Winterboard is, change your themes, um, Installus, or Installus, I'll put up a tutorial how to upload um, apps from the website to your phone. Uh, app backup so that way if I have to regel break my phone I can back it up and I file pretty convenient to put some dev apps on here um, it's a little complicated but it comes hand in hand with install this install this or whatever however you say it 3G and restrictor for Skype and all those other things have that Q tweeter is actually one of my favorite apps too on here if you could see if you just drag down from the top to the bottom you can instantly post a tweet. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can also do a Facebook update. Pro camera, I got that from Instalist. Quad camera from Instalist as well. And that allows you to, um, quad camera allows you to take multiple pictures at once, which is pretty cool. I like it. And you can add different effects to it. Text messages from last night is pretty funny. iFitness, I personally like. I use it when I go to the gym. You can log down different things. It shows you, it shows you different routines and how to do it correctly. It has a bunch of pictures and some, and some uh, videos to show you how to do it. I'll probably post a video on how to, or a review on that too. And IMT Pain is a really funny, funny app because it automatically auto-tunes you to T-Pain's voice, and I think it's pretty hilarious. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and up there I have a status notifier. As you can see, my phone is on silent. And I have missed call. It's, that's off of Cydia, too. You can just download status notifier. And that's pretty much all my themes, or not themes, my apps that I have on this phone. Um, yeah, check back, and I'll probably post some... I'll post, probably post a tutorial for Instalist because that is like the number one way I like to download apps.